Are you ready? Uh, about a year ago, we were asked by the Barbican to do a show. Uh, they were expecting a kind of retrospective. I basically felt I'm not ready for a retrospective. And also, the current economic situation is kind of so complex that we kind of really need to you know, focus on that. We had our hands full. And then a year ago, I saw a show by Rotor in the Biennale in Venice, which was very beautifully done. So we basically invited them to be our curators and we completely surrendered to them. And I'm very happy we did because you know, we have a long history. We have, I think they calculated that we did uh, four and a half million images. So we, we have done so much that in a way you cannot represent it anymore as a kind of linear thing. And what they did, and I think a very smart thing, is make a number of intersections that uh, enable them to talk about things in the past, uh, th things we are currently involved in, and, and things in the future. This room is very nice because it's kind of all the, whenever there's a show, you know, kind of part of the office goes, you cannot say that, you cannot show that, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. And so basically, we insisted that we should surrender. And so whatever we actually cannot show is kind of basically blacked out. Huh? But it's, it's there. And for me, it's very important because this kind of declaration is almost never made by uh, a traditional architecture office. Uh, architects are control freaks, so they're really in charge that everything looks meticulous, kind of beautiful, that all the models are right, and that kind of the show is beautiful. And here you see what, what is happening kind of behind the scenes. This is a film made out of every image we ever produced uh, and so according to them it uh, increases with uh, 1500 images uh, every day and what I thought was kind of really amazing is that it actually allo allows you to kind of understand more or less what is going on. Running through the exhibition we have a public passage which is free and basically to the free people we are actually showing some kind of exhibition which talks about kind of uh, all the items we, we ever produced. And so it's kind of really uh, uh, a very public gesture um, and I'm very happy that uh, we could do this uh, with the Barbican. We talk until we see blue in the face and we produce many books and so here are all the books and all the talks. This is the actual beginning of the show. This is uh, an unidentified objects that Rotor found. We, we gave them full access to the archives. And it's archived as something where nobody knows whether it is kind of a piece of garbage or uh, a work of art. I also don't know. Uh, and so they, they have it with the facts uh, where I plead with the office to have more respect uh, for its production. This is uh, basically a kind of space where building in, in progress or will be kind of every day kind of uh, revealed. So it's a kind of something that will uh, grow. This is the stock market in Shenzhen. This is uh, kind of building we're doing in kind of Rotterdam. That's the Rothschild Bank. Uh, this is the only thing that we curated uh, ourselves and, and what it shows is our current preoccupations. They kind of range from London, the countryside, Generics. There's a lot of those kind of things, and, and what they really announce is the AMO part of the office. How you know, kind of regardless of what we do as architects, how we try to also explore and anticipate uh, other domains. On this floor, eight rooms are organized kind of thematically. We are almost obsessed by movement or by things that change. This was kind of part of a Prada show where we, in order to show the liveliness of a skirt, we, we had to kind of rotate it. There is a kind of platform that moves through the building and that changes the architecture. This is another beautiful example. It's a kind of uh, escalator that we made with a hinge, so that kind of in certain cases you can liberate the entire floor it's for a building in Venice. It's very irritating how architecture is typically represented. It's people looking at buildings, so this is all how the building acts like a frame. Huh? So this is a building that is, is like a frame. This is the kind of building of the embassy in, in Berlin, which is actually a tool to look at the environment. Yeah? So to look at this, to look at the kind of socialist uh, kind of buildings of the past. This is the building in London, 
which again is a tool to look at the kind of church of uh, Ren, which is behind it. Yeah. So in, in all of these, it's kind of really not the building that wants the attention, but it's the uh, way in which you use the building as a kind of lens. These are just kind of materials that we, we've been experimenting with. We've always been obsessed with, with uh, structure. So these are kind of simply some examples of that, of the kind of presence of structure in, in the kind of CCTV building from the inside. But here also, how structure is actually kind of one of the more important uh, kind of forms of dialogue or collaboration. This is a kind of uh, conversation with the Arab in its entirety, kind of leading kind of from a, a structure that was in a way traditional with kind of to the structure that we uh, eventually got on CC3. These are kind of site visits and the way they eventually kind of lead to the kind of projects. And this is a kind of long, long, long story that is still not finished. Your uh, attempt to kind of capture the qualities of Lagos. I hope to finish it uh, at some point. The point here is that they collected everything that was white. This is the kind of project for CCTV. Uh, which, and, and we showed it like this as a kind of plaster model. And so kind of one, when we were almost about to win, the, the Chinese said, you have to make a different model, which is transparent for our leaders, because they will not understand. This kind of uh, situation is kind of really dedicated to the constant escalation of the size of museums. This is the, the increase of Wall Street. And you see how uh, it totally is mirrored by the increase in museums. Uh, and, and, and so that kind of fundamental complicitness uh, between money and art yeah, is kind of really shown here. And that has a lot of uh, consequences. Here is a museum for Beijing, for modern art. It's so big, like 150 square meters, 1,000 square meters. That is kind of like eight times the date that you have to begin to think of museums as small cities rather than kind of big architecture. Our obsession with uh, uh, Trevorton. This room is uh, unfinished. Yeah. And this is a kind of interesting room because it kind of simply shows uh, how things uh, can be adapted. It's called adaptation instead of critting. Yeah. This is a case in point. This was a kind of uh, uh, exhibition center, conference center, and hotel in Cordoba. Uh, at some point, it got into all kinds of problems, and so we simply cut off the hotel, you know, and and had a building which actually I think is a much nicer building. So that's that's the show. <laughs>